Okay, sorry. Nakamute po pala ako, guys. <laughs> Super excited. Okay. Guys, so we are live again in Fit TV. This is a series of success stories of health and fitness entrepreneurs. I am Coach Glenn, your co-host for tonight. Hi guys, my name is Coach Nina again, your co-founder of Fit TV. Okay, so yan, so grabe no, sobrang excited, naka-mute pala, hindi na wala. Yan din pala ako sa LED dito na mute. <laughs> Okay, sa mga, sa mga viewers po natin, sa mga bago po, please like our FB page and help us reach at least 1,000 like or 1,000 followers. Okay, and if you see value sa story ng ating pong featured guests later, please share this episode to your family, to your friends, to your loved ones, and kung kanina nyo po nakikita na magbe-benefit ito pong episode na sinay. And guys, if you are interested or looking for an opportunity to earn supplemental or part-time income, we are more than willing to help you. You can reach us, uh, for Coach Glenn, you can reach him at Healthy Project PH and uh, at your service at Healthy Life, Happy Life PH. So, Brad Fit, uh, wag na natin patagalin kasi... Sobrang excited na rin ako ma-meet yung guest natin kasi... Yes, grabe. Grabe itong oh, guest natin ngayon. Kaya nga eh, ang tindi. Kasi ito mga past episode natin, although uh, mga young, young coaches ang mga guest natin, pero this time, sobrang bata naman to Brad Fit. Yes. So, so first exciting to. First time ako makakarinig, kaya sobrang excited ako ng mas bata sa akin. Honestly. And... Huwag ka natin patagalin, Brad Pitt. Pakilala na natin siya. Okay, sige. Introduce natin. Uh, our guest nga pala, guys, is all the way from Cebu. Okay? Yeah. And she is a full-time wellness coach. Okay? So, guys, if you have pen and paper, so sulat nyo kung yung mga matutunan nyo at isa to sa mga hinahangaan dito sa industry natin ngayon. Okay? So, guys, please help me welcome our guest for tonight. Coach Franny Similia. Yay! Hello, Hi, Coach. Hello, Nap. Nakamit pa na. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello, guys. Grabe naman makasate yung dalawang to. Point of watch <laughs> naman lang tayo, di ba? Kata yan, Coach. <laughs> so thank and you coach, so much, Coach Glenn and Coach Nino, for having me tonight. <laughs> Ako, Sobrang thank you, thank you din kasi thank despite you din, sa napaka-hectic mong schedule, napaka-hectic mong schedule. Anyway, please greet our uh, mga lead viewers natin, Coach. Hi, everyone. So we're so happy to have you guys with us tonight. I hope you enjoy. Um, I hope you enjoy my sharing later. So, grabe, ano, saan galing yung viewers nyo, like? more on the zone besides Mindanao or like all throughout the world <laughs> grabe ng fit tv live ah um, actually coach uh ang um, so far yung record namin umabot kami ng more than 600 yun yung wow. time ni coach joy so um, we are expecting kasi ikaw ang guest namin nako baka mahigit ma-break na yung record ngayon <laughs> yes sana sana grabe naman <laughs> So yeah. Okay, so Okay, coach, uh please uh simulan na po natin. Okay, uh, excited po yung mga viewers natin. More than we uh, excited kami. Okay, coach, uh, please tell us who you are and what you do. Okay, so hi everyone. My name is Coach Franny Similia. So, I'm from Cebu. So, shout out sa mga tanan Bisaya deha. <laughs> So, okay, so I'm a wellness entrepreneur. So, um, I started before when I was in high school, um, parang um, sideline lang, like on the side because I was studying and now and also like after college then, but after graduating college, parang I, um, I slowly started to do the business more full time because um. Um, after after graduating college, I worked a bit for an architecture office, and then parang it didn't feel 
parang when you work at a typical nine, yung nine to five, de ba parang sobrang stress mo at then like malit lang yung pay and then parang you also gain weight din so like um that was my heaviest like working at uh working at an office yung office type setting diba i'm sure maraming makarelate na diba when you work at a typical yung desk job na tataba talaga ka diba because you always eat and you're always stressed and then you also lack sleep or or even when you're with your workmates parang uy san tayo mag eat out or like oh lunch out tayo or after work parang my 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 drinks kayo or what yeah so um after working um after that job parang i decided na oh my god like i really need to get back into shape na ba? like i really need to take it more seriously now so after that um i I resigned and then I started um, becoming a full-time wellness uh, wellness entrepreneur full-time. So I really like how are you you're your own boss and then you can I know like I, I'm basically in gym clothes like yeah. like yun yun yung uniform ko gym clothes de ba you're you're your own boss you can own your own time parang you like I'm 24 but like I feel it feels more fulfilling being able to help other people with their wellness journey and parang it's really nice how um you can control your your day your few schedule mo and everything so yeah yan talaga yung favorite part ko it's being um being your own boss yeah happy coach na karelita ko diyan kasi yeah. ma makwento ko lang din before when i was invited i was working as a nurse and mm-hmm. nakarelate talaga ako kasi nga talagang when you are in a hectic uh, hectic schedule, uh, doon prone ka mag, mag-gain ng weight kasi mag-iayaan, tara kain tayo dito. So, amazing pala, amazing pala yung background mo, Coach. So, tell, tell us why naman, why you choose to be healthy and fit? Kasi, syempre, yung iba, marami kaming naging guest dito, yung iba na bully, yung iba naman um, na, nagkaroon ng low self-esteem. How about you, Coach? Uh, why do you choose to be healthy and fit? So, diba, we only have one body naman to take care of. Diba? So, pwede ka naman mag-transfer ng bahay ng how many times. Pero yung body mo, parang isa lang, isa lang yung binigay sa atin, diba? So, if, parang if you don't take care of it, like, walang-wala talaga. It's hard, parang, it's hard to get back into shape when you're, like, when you're really, when you're really, really big na talaga. I mean, it's possible, but it's also, it's so much harder. So, Um, my mother also, um, she passed away from breast cancer. So it really makes you, um, she also, she was also in Herbalife. So now that I'm continuing her legacy. So it really, when you have a loved one who um, is going through something like um, health-wise, like something very challenging health-wise, it really makes you see the bigger picture. Na parang health is wealth talaga. Like no matter how much hard you work like no matter how hard you work and how much money you earn at the end of the day if parang yung health mo is at risk like parang it, it makes you think na okay like it's it's more worth it in the long run to take care of yourself talaga because we only have one body naman yeah, yeah. tama yun coach sobrang agree ako doon grabe mm-hmm. Uh, ano rin no coach, uh, nakaka-relate din ako sa iyo kasi isa sa mga hugot ko. Mm-hmm. Sabi, is uh, kaya din uh, why I decided kasi dahil nga yan, nakikita niyo naman, we're live guys talaga. Yung baby ko and my wife, isa sila sa mga pinaghuhugutan ko. Why I decided na isa nga sa pangarap namin ni Brad Fit Nino is talagang i-maximize namin yung buhay namin dito sa mundo. Okay, so, uh, next question natin coach is syempre Uh, lahat naman ng mga success natin is may mga pinagdadaanan or may mga box stores or mga ano ba tawag doon? Mga reason behind. Yung mga outside the scene, ano tawag doon? Back, back scenes? Ano tawag yun na? Behind the scene. Behind the scene. Yan, okay. So, what are your struggles in your health and fitness journey na pwedeng makakulong sa mga nanonood sa atin? So, yeah. Yung, yung usually health, di ba? As Filipinos, we love naman to eat talaga. My birthday, kain tayo. My celebration, like small celebration, kain. And then like just, 
Filipinos love to eat talaga. So, I mean, me also, I really love to eat. Like, who doesn't love to, you know? So, parang, um, yung struggle ko talaga is yung before, yung choices of food. And then also, like, not having enough motivation to exercise. So, parang before yung mindset ko about, like, like food and like like fitness was always um prang the when you think about fitness it's like oh you have to be in the gym for like two hours or like an hour like you have to spend so long in the gym prang before you usually yung mindset sa mga tao is um to be healthy or to lose weight you really have to um put in so many hours in the gym and then they don't they parang they don't think about what they eat. So, they ba, mag-gym sila ng two hours. And then, after after they're finished, they eat one whole caldero of rice, di ba? Parang sayang naman yung nang-workout nila. Yeah. So, yeah, yan. Um, oh, yeah. Di ba, um, um, if some of the viewers have heard of the 80-20 principle, di ba, it's really 80% nutrition and 20% exercise. So, it's, it's easier to... To keep track of what you're eating compared to parang hola I ate so much I'll bow it in the gym parang it's easier naman de ba for you to okay I just won't eat a lot and parang let's say you can um you can just a lot panga ten to fifteen minutes of workout then a day like at home lang especially now that we're just like we're most of us are at home so it's um it's also very it's more sustainable then to just um, keep track of your habits, yung habits mo, nga parang um, just be 1% better every day. Lang 1% lang. Like, um, diba, my quote, I forgot what the quote was exactly, but the thought was, parang don't think of the whole staircase in front of you, kasi you might get overwhelmed, diba? Like, you, let's say, yung goal mo is to lose 10 pounds or something, like, you might get overwhelmed na, oh my god like i have to i have to do this do that to lose all, like this ten, like this whole like amount of weight pero parang focus on the step in front of you like focus on what are you going to eat what what's your next meal like make sure it's healthy like make sure it's balanced well or um just focus on the first pound don't think na about like okay yung 10 pounds talaga focus nang on your first pound parang later on just um increase your goal and just be one percent better than who you were yesterday yan par it's more sustainable in the long run talaga wow grabe ang galing, ang galing mo ng coach Fran. so actually that's my question na ano ba yung mga strategies mo but since uh, na mention mo na ayon taking small steps don't focus masyado mag overwhelm um, and then, Coach Fran, tanong ko lang, um, can you cite your specific journey na dati ba, nag, dumating ka ba sa point na sobrang overweight? Ano ba yung before figure, figure mo and uh, ano na yung ngayon? Ah, okay. Um, so, before, I was around, so my height is, um, I'm kind of short. I'm like five, almost five one. <laughs> <laughs> parang wala na kaabot sa 5.1. Parang 5.05 lang. <laughs> so, um, I wasn't very overweight. Pero um, yung fat percentage ko was mga almost 29%. So, I, I weigh at, at 5.05. <laughs> I weigh 113 pounds. Pero yung, yung fat percentage ko was very high for my age. I was, I know, like... 20, 21 at that time. I think that was my heaviest. Parang for a 20 year old to weigh, uh, to have that high of a fat percentage, parang it's really bad na talaga. So, um, so, I know, like when, when the clothes don't really fit na, parang okay, ito talaga yung sign. <laughs> okay, I really have to, I know, I really have to, you know, make better choices na talaga. So, yeah, um, when I started focusing on my health again and parang getting back on track, I lost a total of 9 pounds. And then yung fat percentage ko from, 20, from around 29, naging 23 na. 
Wow. So, wow. <laughs> so yung yung goal ko is to reach 18 pa. So yan. Wow, grabe yun. I'm still working on that naman. Grabe. Sino, sino ba yung mala Elena Darna na ba yun? <laughs> Elena Darna. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing yun, Coach. Ah. Okay, Coach. Uh, hypothetical question lang, no? Curious yung uh, viewers natin. Hypothetical lang, no? Uh, kung sakali na mabalik ka dun sa sabihin natin na unhealthy na status ng katawan mo, ano yung bagay na gagawin mo para may balik siya ulit? Okay. Hypothetical lang naman. Okay, para may, may, may idea yung guest natin. If in case na na as a wellness coach, uh, kung, uh, kung if it is possible na bumalik ulit tayo sa ganun, ano yung mga pwede nilang gawin? Mm-hmm. Kasi, kasi Coach Franny, um, hindi naman kasi bago yung, di ba, we heard yung what we call before, after, before. People oh, yeah, uh, <laughs> who achieve ideal result then goes back to their previous or even worse um, figure. So, yun. Uh, to answer that question, I'm the question. Actually, victim, victim din ako yan ng yung before, after, then before again. <laughs> Um, I used to take their products since I was um around mga 10 years old and then I can fat kid talaga like yung 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 chubby like chubby since birth type of kid you know, growing up yung, yung malaki yung cheeks mo taba ching ching yun I don't know if you guys know like yung taba ching ching or whatever so yeah and then parang yung around high school yung prom time the ba so parang you go through puberty na and you kind of like you become more conscious so you lose the weight and then parang after you lose the weight after a while you become complacent na okay like i really you know yung na achieve mo na yung goal mo diba and then so parang you become complacent na and then college came yung stress and working also and everything so yung na lose ko na weight na gain ko ulit <laughs> so yeah so I think when when that happens to you, you kind of, parang you 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 reevaluate like okay, um, oh, I, and what am I what am I doing wrong? Like or I know, I think the easiest um, skill to focus on when when you find yourself parang in a parang okay like I'm in a un, I'm in an unhealthy place again was is kind of to discipline your eating habits and to make sure to really make sure that you're eating clean so diba you, other people think ah magda diet ako like you know and then yung yung diet mindset talaga is kind of only for the short term okay when you think of diet oh, okay sige i'll diet like for a month and then i'll lose the weight and parang you know yan yung yung cycle ng yo-yo pero when you when you focus on clean eating yeah, yung, the discipline to eat clean, it's very um, sustainable in the long run. So, uh, if if magda diet mindset ka, you'll be like, oh, I won't eat anything lang today. And then, pag, and then let's say, you, you don't eat, like, let's say, you only eat one meal kasi nagda diet, ba? Parang the next day, you crash, ba? May, may iba, like, that happens to, it happens to a, a lot of us. Parang, okay, diet day one, you don't really eat. And then the next day, parang, oh my God, I'm so hungry. Like, I'll eat, parang, you know, you eat so much, and then the next day again, parang mag yo yo lang. So, um, just focusing on clean eating, like, okay, clean eating would basically be um, making sure that the food that you're eating is very fresh and full of nutrients. And um, I don't know if you've heard about the, yung, our, our food, it has um, different vibrations. I don't know if you've heard about that. It's like, hindi pa, hindi pa, coach. Ako hindi pa. Like, um, different food has different vibrations. Like, basically, like, um, the food that's, like, fresh, yung mga fruits and vegetables, yung food that are full of nutrients, they they have higher vibrations. So it makes us feel good. Like, it makes our body feel good. It or, or like, it also affects our mental health. Yeah, and, like, when we eat, food that's fresh from the earth and full with nutrients it makes us feel good but you notice kapag kakain ka ng canned goods or um yung meat or like 
preservatives, junk foods, yan. Parang you feel very, ano, parang weak or parang after eating, you feel so sleepy. Yan, di ba? Like, do you guys feel that way also when you eat yung mga yes. soda or junk yes, food? Yes, coach, nararamdaman oh. yan. Lalo, lalo na pag yung, lalo na pag yung mga buffet. Yan, ano, yung buffet. Yan. <laughs> Para patulog. <laughs> yan, di ba? Oh, kasi yung mga food na not as fresh or not super full in nutrients, yung, yung mga processed food na especially, parang it it drains our energy and parang it makes us it makes us feel ano it makes us feel very drained so yan yung discipline to eat clean and like parang it's a conscious choice like okay for lunch san ka kakain mcdo or mag ano mag fish and vegetables ka lang like yung it's really about the the small choices yan like the focus on the step in front of you not the whole staircase. It's really just about the small choices. So if you ever find yourself in a, you know, parang in a position na yung health mo na, you need to make changes, just focus on the little things. Kasi when you, when you focus on the small habits, yung eating clean, making sure that you're drinking a lot of water, and just even, par, even like exercising, even five minutes a day, would be would be really good as long as like in the long run parang parang yung small healthy habits mo in the long run it accumulates to it accumulates to um a larger parang it really changes your body in the long term yeah oh grabe ang galing ng journey mo ko sa interview ang take out ko dun Brad Pitt yung sinabi ni coach Fran na yung losing weight kasi, sabi nga, lagi nga nababasa ko mga quotes, na losing weight is temporary, but being healthy is a lifetime commitment. And, yes. Yun yung parang reminder sa akin nung what I've learned from Coach Franny. Grabe, ang galing mo Coach Franny, ah. <laughs> also, um, last question na lang, Coach Franny, para masulit naman namin yung time mo. So, um, <laughs> Uh, aside from mga na-share mo kanina, do you have any message or tips sa ating mga viewers? And also, please uh, invite them to saan ka ba nila pwedeng makita or personally na ma, if they want to learn directly from you, saan ka ba nila pwedeng makontak? So like, um, yung, yung message ko sa mga viewers especially is, um, to really take care of your body because you yung health natin it's it's something that um normally we wouldn't really think about but but when it's too late that's when that's when parang, oh like you regret it na ba? Like, oh i should have like taken care of myself better when i was younger so parang prevention is better than cure and really take care of yourself diba? like um the coach glenn is a father so to be able like especially with people who are parents na or taking care of like you know yung loved ones mo um parang when you take care of yourself first uh to be able to take care of the people around you you really have to take care of yourself first okay i know you know what's gonna happen if like let's say ikaw yung let's say breadwinner ng family and then you work so hard but um you na sacrifice mo yung health mo, de ba? Like you wouldn't be able to take care of your loved ones in in the long run. So yeah, make make sure that make sure that you keep yourself a priority. Yeah, and and also, um, you guys can like if you wanna message, let's connect, let's be friends. You can connect yeah. with me through um IG. So um you can. Uh, I know it's here. Here, yeah, new handle. Yeah. Check out for uh, more on like health and fitness tips. You guys can check here. Get Get Up Club. So I share a lot of like fitness tips that then there and everything. So yeah, let's be friends and let's connect. Wow, um, grabe. Oh, grabe. <laughs> At oh, the oh, very young oh. age, no, Brad Pitt. Dami nating natutunan. <laughs> Saka oh. iba, tal- iba talaga Brad Pitt pag from experience. Talagang ramdam na ramdam ko yung joining Coach Fran. Yes, same here. Thank you so much for having me. Ang saya talaga yung show nyo. Parang 
<laughs> YouTuber. <laughs> diba? Parang live stream from YouTube. You, yes, kung lang lang yung golden it. plaque. <laughs> 100k subscribers golden plaque, diba? <laughs> bonus, bonus na lang yun. Uh, bonus na lang namin yun. Pero more on, ano, uh, gusto namin makapag-share kami at uh, more on, gusto namin maging instrument kami to invite yung mga kagaya mo ta, to share kung ano yung mga ma- pwede natin ma-impart sa mga ka- kasing edad natin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Diba, kay, kasi kabatch lang tayo, di ba? Tama <laughs> yun. <laughs> Tama yun. And it's, it's a win-win situation kasi, Coach Fran. Kasi kami, we are so eager to learn from successful people like you. And yun, sinishare na rin namin, nilivestream na namin para sama-sama tayong matuto along with the viewers, di ba? Yes. Mm-hmm. Ganda ng platform niya talaga. Okay. So, yan guys, uh, as much as gusto pa po nating magtanong na magtanong kay <laughs> Coach Prani at ito lamang po ang hiningi natin pabor at oras sa kanya. Okay, so, yan naman po, andyan po yung contact details niya if you want to get in touch with her. Okay, so, thank you Coach Frani for your time. Okay. So thank much. you Coach Glenn and Coach Nino. Ang saya. I enjoyed. I really enjoyed tonight. Thank you Coach Frani and we are hoping na hindi ito yung first and last. Of course, marami pang susunod na invitation. I learn more Tagalog for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we are looking forward to that. Ay no, kasi yung Tagalog ko. Kinulong din ako. I'll learn more next time. Okay, Coach Rani. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you, Coach. Thank you, Coach. Bye-bye. Hope to see you soon personally, Coach. See you soon. Pupunta ko dyan, ha? Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Good night, Coach. Ayan. So, yun. Grabe, Brad Pitt, no? Ano yun, na-amaze talaga ako dun sa hindi natin nakalain na yun yung inisip ko ngayon. At the very young age na meron pala talaga na kahit uh, hindi pa... Kasi usually yung mga nagiging health conscious, yung mga senior citizen na or malapit na mag-senior citizen, di ba? So yun yeah. naman, guys, uh, ano lang, yun lang yung isa sa mga advocacy namin na masaya kami na at the very young age. Ma-realize natin na talagang sabi nga ni Coach Prani, health is really a wealth. Okay, di ba, Coach Nino? Tama yun, Brad. With in, um, living proof si Coach Franny na, Franny na talagang prevention is better than cure. Kasi why not antayin pa natin na may maramdaman tayo. If, if ngayon pa lang, ngayon pa lang, we can prevent it, di ba? Sabi nga niya, isa lang yung katawan natin, hindi naman tayo pwede magpalipat-lipat unlike na <laughs> Tama yun. Ang, ang ganda nung take ko sa kanya, ang ganda nung message niya na yun, na talagang yung katawan natin, solo lang to eh, iisa lang to. We, and, yes. and, if I'm not mistaken, we only live once. Diba? <laughs> Siyempre, so, hindi ka nagkakamali dyan. <laughs> we only live once, so, diba? Sabi ng iba, um, a- ako, di- um, pasintabi ako dun sa iba, this is just my opinion. Sabi ng iba, uh, you only live once, so, uh, para ba, um, why, party all over uh, sulitin, hindi daw pahabaan yan pasarapan but uh, I beg to disagree with that na sabi na, isa na nga yung buhay mo tinipid mo ba yung panghabaan di ba? Yes, so, so yun yung take ko kay Coach Prani isang gabi na naman na ang dami natin natutunan sobrang inspiring and sarap matulog na inspired tama ba Brad? Yes, tama So yon guys, uh, sa mga bagong viewers po namin at sa mga bago pa lang po na nakapanood nitong uh, Fit TV na live na live. So kita nyo naman po kung paano po kami babulol, oh, di ba? <laughs> kung paano po may tumatak po mga bata, okay? So yan, sa mga bago pa lang po, uh, please help us uh, like, uh, please help, please uh, like our page and help us reach yung One, at least 1,000 likers lang po yung initial goal namin. And if more, siyempre po, mas masaya po kami. Mas marami po tayo masasharean nung mga sineshare po ng mga guests natin dito. And guys, please, if you see value sa story ng ating guest ngayon, please share this episode to your family, friends, and loved ones. And also, if guys you are interested or looking for an opportunity to earn, earn, kumita, 
ng supplemental income, pwedeng part-time, pwedeng full-time, we are more than willing to help you guys. And to reach us, si Coach Glenn or si Brad Fit Glenn, you can reach him at Healthy Project PH. And at your service po, Coach Nino or Brad Fit Nino, at Healthy Life, Happy Life PH. Yon. So, Brad Fit, isa na namang gabing napaka napadami natutunan, sobrang inspiring and Um, thank you sa lahat ng mga live viewers and sa mga manonood pa ng replay. So, yun lang guys. Magpaalam na tayo sa kanila, Brad Fit. Ako po ang inyong Brad Fit, Brad Fit Glenn. At ako naman ang inyong Brad Fit ninyo, signing out. Peace! Peace. Good night, guys. Good night. Bye-bye.